Advent Devotions, Friday, December 9, 2022. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for today says, Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. The accompanying doctrinal text is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 3. It reads as follows. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. In this Advent season, let us hear what God will say to us through today's watchword. At first glance, we may consider this text from Isaiah 53 to be a passion theme for consideration during Holy Week, Good Friday and Easter. However, isn't this the very reason for which Jesus Christ came to earth? He came and gave us an example of how to live. He reached out to many on earth, healing them bodily. He taught godly discipline to all who would listen. And he interacted with all those who would have him. Remember the woman at the well? She talked with him and he changed her life. Remember Zacchaeus? He was willing to receive Jesus. And so he became a changed man. The lame were healed, the dead were raised to life. He identified with our human nature, and so he wept with with Lazarus' death. He ate with his disciples. He slept in the boat. And then he went on to die for our sins. The following verse to this text says, He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Yes, he took on our sin and iniquity and bore the death that should have been ours. And all the persecution and rejection he suffered was because he left his glory and came to earth in our interests. The songwriter puts it this way, Down from his glory, ever-living story, My God and Saviour came, and Jesus was his name. Born in a manger to his own a stranger, a man of sorrows, tears, and agony. The great Creator became my Saviour, and all God's fullness dwelleth in him. Yes, the one who was our Creator became like us in many ways, a human with our frailty, but even more so, taking much suffering because he came to us. What does this text have to do with Advent and Christmas? A lot. Everything. This text speaks to the end result of Jesus' incarnation. Yes, he came as that cute babe in a lowly manger, but he became the saviour And along the way, he suffered rejection and anguish because he came to us. The Christ of Christmas is the suffering saviour of the world. And so, this passion theme has its genesis in the incarnation. Each nativity scene is a reminder of the cross and the salvation it delivers. The babe of of Bethlehem is the dying saviour on the cross. The victorious Christ of the empty tomb. And the incarnation is for the purpose of our salvation, our redemption through his suffering. And therefore, with the songwriter, We should continue the song thus. Oh, how I love him, how I adore him, my breath, my sunshine, my all in all. 
the great creator became my savior and all God's fullness dwelleth in him. Let us pray. Lord, may we at this Advent season see the great purpose of salvation for which you came and glorify your name. Amen.